Hi guys! So as you can tell by my face, today we're going to do a makeup transformation of someone with animal ears. Inspired by Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. This is going to be a two-in-one makeup. First we're going to do her from the movie Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because in that movie she drinks Polyjuice Potion and it has a side effect where she turns into a cat because some cat hair got into her bottle. So we're gonna do her as Hermione herself and then transform her into half cat like mid transformation. I hope this comes out really cool. We will just have to see. First of all, I'm putting a hairnet on because I am definitely gonna put on a giant frizzy hair wig later because Hermione has lighter hair than I do and it's big and frizzy. But in a cute sort of frizzy. I actually like her hair. I wish I had that hair. And then I'm just going to get some makeup toner to get the excess dirt and oil off because I definitely sweated today, I remember. Not one of my favorite activities. And then we're going to flatten down our eyebrows so that we could paint on top of them. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know the step where I use some Elmer's glue, let it dry enough just to get tacky to put some face powder on top, and then I do not one, but maybe two or three other layers of glue and face powder. The reason why we're doing this is because Hermione Granger, Miss Emma Watson, has very low set eyebrows that are a lot thicker than mine, so I'm going to draw on new ones, and we need to paint on a cat who doesn't have human eyebrows later. Because once you think your eyebrows are set and flat enough, flatter than a slice of pizza, you want to get your favorite foundation. Mine is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous foundation in my shade with a foundation brush and just brushing very lightly on top of those eyebrows and all over the face. You want to blend it into your neck so that you don't have a mask on your face. And then I'm getting some eyeshadow primer to put under my eyes so that my concealer will stay on better. Then an orange tone correcting concealer. This one's from my Poise Cosmetics palette. That's my absolute favorite for transformations. And over that, a regular skin tone concealer. This is the Naked Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. It's like my holy grail concealer for under eye bags. You really want to make sure you conceal those eyebrows, which is really tough to do. So I'm putting some more thicker concealer on top of those eyebrows just to make sure that you could barely see my eyebrow hairs underneath and blending it with the Baby Beauty Blender. The Micro Beauty Blender that I'm using to blend all the concealer into the foundation is like one of my new favorite tools. Or you could probably use a regular Beauty Blender. Real Technique also has a great dupe. And now we're going to do the contour of Emma Watson, Hermione Granger herself, using some taupe cream color. Doing the bottom chin mark, you want this to look like shadow and not like a beard. So you don't want to do it too high up on your face. Reference pictures of Emma Watson, especially in her younger days, from Harry Potter series where she drank the Polyjuice Potion would be great. And I'm contouring my nose as well. She has a very similar nose to mine, but it is thinner on top. So that is what I'm trying to accomplish here. And then I got some face powder with a giant powder puff to powder down all the cream on my face so we could blend in other makeup later. Now it is time to draw on those eyebrows that we were talking about before. They're going to be very thick, kind of like Orlando Bloom eyebrows, but with a little bit of arch and a little bit more feminine. I always say eyebrows are like the expert level of a video game, like the hardest boss that you encounter on any video game. I'm just getting different various types of eyebrow pencils and then I go on over to a dark brown cream color to paint in brow hairs. You want to paint them like you're drawing individual hairs onto your face on the shape of the brows that we did before with the brow pencils and then set that with some powder. I'm also using the same color on my eyelids because she has very hooded eyelids. And I'm trying to mimic the crease of her eye. I'm really trying to look like her, as you could tell. Like, adding more creases to my eye? Who does that? I do, apparently. I try to study faces and the pictures from the movies as best as I can. And now I'm getting my absolute favorite contour powder. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's matte. It's my favorite color. To put shadow onto my face. Doing it in parts where people naturally have some contour. Just highlighting under my eyes more because I feel like you could see those luxury under eye bags, the big purple and blue bags under my eyes from not sleeping enough. I don't want to do her contour too strong other than on the chin. Putting some contour on that chin because hers is narrower than mine is. Now I'm just getting some brown eyeliner and smudging that on my bottom eyelid and on the top as well. 
Now I'm just getting this Lip Surgeons Lip Crayon from Tarte in the color Lovely. You want something that's a bright glossy pink but not too bright and overpowering. Something natural looking. Now it's time to do the fake freckles. I'm using a alcohol palette for this because it's natural looking and it makes the best freckles but you can also use a brown eyeliner very lightly tapped onto your skin. Contouring my nose some more with the Benefit Hoola Bronzer. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes and putting on some mascara. Then I'm gonna put on this gigantic wig that I got off Amazon that reminds me of Hermione, but I did a little alteration with it and cut the bangs to be shorter to match her length. Once I put on the wig, I noticed that my eyebrows need to be more stronger because this hair is very overwhelming and it overpowers the eyebrows. So I got some brow powder and sculpted my brows a little bit more and made them darker. And then I put on a button-up white collared shirt and I need to put the Gryffindor tie on so I had to take my wig off to make sure it would fit over my head because that wig is very large and in charge. Then I got the school cloak and put that on as well before I put my humongous huge Hermione wig back on. And once you're done with that, you're completely done with the Hermione Granger beauty makeup look. I hope this looks a little bit like Emma Watson in the movie Harry Potter when she was Hermione. I would actually love to have this hair in real life, no lie. But now it is time to take off half of our face of makeup with a makeup remover wipe. I put on this black light cape to protect my costume for the paint. Try not to take away your eyebrow cover up too much because we want that to stay down for the rest of the paint where we're going to do on this side of the face. I did it on the side of the face that my painting hand is on. So I'm right handed so I took off the right side of my right on that face so that I could paint a cat on now. Just like in Harry Potter where she's turning into a cat, we're going to do a half cat transformation. So if you would like to see Hermione turn into a cat, stay tuned. If not, you could stop here. What you're going to need for this is duo fiber makeup brushes because they give the best texture of fur-like qualities when you're painting. I used the white aqua paint first and then I moved over to a bigger, larger duo fiber brush with the brown aqua paint. You're going to do strokes that give like hair-like quality. Switching from the white to the brown, you're going to want to keep the socket around your eye white and the chin white in the upper part of your upper lip. And then I got some pink cream paint and started painting the cat's nose. Then I got some black cream paint with a very thin brush and outlined that nose to make it more cat-like. More white aqua paint on the upper lip to make it stand out more. And more black on the upper lip just on that side of the cat. And a little bit on the bottom lip as well. I'm also using the brown aqua paint in the center of the forehead and the eye socket to make it darker with more detail. Getting some black aqua paint with another duo fiber brush and doing details within the brown paints near the white as well. This is gonna give so much more texture and depth and dimension like real cat fur has. Even brown cats have some darker brown, almost black hairs in their fur. It's not like I study cats or anything. I'm not a cat lady yet, we'll see. And then I got some brown aqua paint with the duo fiber brush to transition into the human side of the face. You want the feather-like furs to wisp into that beauty makeup on that side. And then I got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and outlined my eye on the cat side. And got a black eyeliner and blackened my waterline as well. Got some more white paint to do more detail on the whiteness of that fur around the eye. And more black paint to do more detail on the chin. And I even put some yellow in there with more black paint to do various amounts of colors because the cat that Hermione turns into in the movie is definitely a brown cat that blends a little bit in with her hair and makes it look more cool, almost like a lion. And I'm doing some brown paint on the neck as well since this is a brown cat. You want to make sure, you know, you have a continuous transformation of an animal on that side. Then I got some white cream paint with a very long thin paintbrush and painted on some whiskers on my forehead and definitely near my nose like cats have. And once you think you look feline enough on one side of your face, it is time to put on Hermione's wig again. And that's not the only thing we're gonna put on. We are also gonna put on a giant cat ear that I painted myself after I bought it on Amazon. You could blend it and style it into the wig. I even put some glue on my cat ear to make sure it's shaped into more of a real life cat shape of an ear. And we are not done with this feline look yet. I took it a step even further and got some special effects contact lenses of a yellow cat eye just like in the movie. This is of course optional if you guys have never used special effects lenses. They're kind of tricky at first as well. 
And now once you have the ears on and the eye in, that sounds creepy, but the fake cat eye, you are completely done with this makeup look of Emma Watson, specifically from the Harry Potter series where she played Hermione Granger as she's transforming into a cat in mid-transformation after the side effects of the polyjuice potion. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I hope I did this justice. This was a lot of fun to do, especially like playing with the cat ear and trying to act like a cat a little bit. But now, sadly, it is time to take it off. Taking this off was a breeze. Just make sure you soak those eyebrows if you flatten them down with glue with some baby wipes or makeup remover wipes. Don't worry, this won't make your eyebrows fall off if you take it off correctly. All the products I used in this video will be listed down below as always. If you guys do any of my makeup looks on my channel, please take a picture of it. Post it on Instagram, tag me, hashtag catsketch, so I can see them in your progress on your guys' awesome work because you guys are so talented as well. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me, and I love you all. See you soon. Bye.